the long-term English learners are in California, if they're in our schools for six years or more and have not redesignated, they are in that category. And Los Angeles had a huge number, about 200,000. Statewide, we also were bad. And we're finding that they make up, I believe it's 80% of all the ELs in secondary are long-term English learners. So we've misidentified mis what we should do. If all those students came from another country and didn't speak English, we would be ready. But that's actually <laughs> not what we've got. We've got kids who have been here who actually speak English quite well. They don't have academic English. Uh, they don't have um, reading comprehension. And we'll, if you just imagine that if you're in school for three or four years and you don't know what the teacher's saying, you might get some things, but there are huge areas which you'll just blank out on because you don't, you don't have enough key words to be able to understand the lesson. And one of the things they said in the report was that they, the ones who don't drop out, become they hide in the classroom. They're just very quiet, well behaved, and and you know they're being classified as not too bright, which is not true. And so, what happens with the, they're not a population, they're not the same, and that's what's difficult about it. Uh, some of them lack academic knowledge; they missed. Some of them don't have good reading comprehension, but they, they can read words and they can you know, decode. So putting those students into an ESL class where they're learning to decode and to do these very basic things is what is holding us down. We don't have specific programs for these kids, so we just stick them in the ESL class where the other students are learning English and you already know it. And you need, you need something, but that isn't it. One of the suggestions they had and something I was reading was in secondary putting them into the Spanish language class where they could demonstrate all this literacy and, and, and could respond and have that, first of all, very positive experience of succeeding, but also just acclimatizing themselves to um, the school and the country. But they would have, you could then be demonstrating that yes, grade level in history, grade level, you know, that the, the person does have grade level skills and they just are learning English.